In this presentation, we're going to discuss about break on access or BA command. This type of breakpoints are also called memory breakpoints. As a matter of fact, so far we have been seeing breakpoints for function addresses. One way or the other, they were taking function addresses BP, BM, BU, etc. So, in those cases, we knew where in the code to break that is where the function address comes into the picture BA on the other hand break when a particular memory region is accessed read write or execute in that stand BA is way too different from BP BM or BU so just after the access of that particular memory location we are gonna give input to the BA it'll break BA is very useful in certain situations and many cases there are no other alternatives for BA. Now let's see a demo in WinDebug to see the syntax and how it works. So this is a Hello World application which I have opened. So I have broken into the start of the main. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give a BA to the start address of this array which is going to be in P for that I'm pressing F10 so in P I'll be getting the address so this is the address which I'm interested in now the syntax of BA is BA R for then the address so this R4 is how many memory location the debugger is going to observe or watch for for memory location starting from this address now the R is standing for a read or write so if the operation is a read or write it will break into the debugger there is W which will break only when a write happens to this particular address 4 bytes from this particular address in this case R4 so read or write 4 bytes starting from this address we gonna break into the debugger I have given the breakpoint. Now I'm going to press a G. Now I got a first hit. It is in the MS VZRT. So let's see the call stack. So it is the printf which is accessing that particular data potentially print of face a reading from the data to print or further action now if you look at this instruction we cannot see that this is being accessed so this is our memory location of interest so EBP is far away from that address so CL or lower part of the ECX also far away from that value now if you give a U beyond this address you can see that there is an instruction here just above this instruction so this is the previous instruction to this particular instruction if you examine this particular instruction it is trying to copy something by reading the address in EAX so let's see what is in EAX so EAX has this particular value that is exactly the same value we are looking at so the debugger has broken 
just after the execution of this particular instruction and that instruction is trying to read from the address of interest so this is the address which we have put breakpoint now this is the next address so for one we get another breakpoint for two we get another breakpoint and that's it either this counter is going to reset or something else is going to happen we are not going to get a breakpoint on 44 that's a point exactly that happened we didn't get a break on 44 it doesn't mean that we didn't access 44 but our breakpoint is monitoring only 4 bytes after this which means up to 4 3 after that some other card path is accessing maybe same card path so we have seen BA again feel free to look at the documentation there are a couple more switches for execute input output kernel mod etc but the basic principle is the same which we have discussed thank you very much